Hello. You are mute. You are mute. You are mute. You are mute. Good evening. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hello. Good evening. Hi, Ingrid. Come in. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. How are you? Pretty fine. Too. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Mm. And how is everything? Working hard? Yes, yes. What are you doing? I just finished partially at the university. Uh, I, uh, I go walking from that work. I am in my office right now. Pa partial about? About uh, Derecho Laboral 2. Ah, uh -huh. nice. What are you... What are you... Uh, what year? What? No, it's it's about fourth year, no? Five years. Five year. I almost finished then. Almost finished. I am in my fourth year. Okay. My fourth. If you need help with the thesis, let me know. Okay, I will. I will. Yes, I because will. I, I, that's that's one of my best things I, I i help people from different universities oh that's good in different different um majors or or degrees okay and they always get good grades <laughs> <laughs> that's good and especially in, in in for for the law because i i i studied that so yes. i I know a little. Uh, you know, I have to be. You can make something about the the constitution. Uh huh. That's you, it. You can you can make a, 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 a like an exercise of uh, comparing the 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 constitution the constitution we used to have, and what do you think that should be a uh, changes. Okay. That it would be good. a very nice topic. It's a very nice topic. That's good. I I am going to work about in that. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's yes, good. because it's, it's something from that uh, the reality, the things mm -hmm. that are happening. Because yes. there, there are some uh, things that are not stated well in the Constitution, and yes. we need to restrict them more. Okay, to, to put it more clear. That's it. That's it. Then there is no there is no way that we have to go to somebody to tell us what they want to say there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it. That's it. It's a good it's a good topic. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, I I was trying to advance and uh in the numbers of the of the election, the lesson, and I almost I, I finished, but I have I have a I have an answer that that always. always Don't was, worry, here we help. Okay. All of us give us copy. Aquí todos aquí todos nos damos no no that is not copy that is a uh, um. Group work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, es que se aprende equivocando. That is, that is teamwork. teamwork. You know, I, I don't know why the people insist on having us isolated, giving a test, when in the real situations, we always have somebody that help us to do something. Yes. 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 For example, right now I am working with uh, a senior company, giving classes here in, in in Panama English classes, and they are paying very well. But the amount of paperwork, wow! 
um, they always want us to keep communication, but I find out a way to make it easier. And we finish on Friday the week, and on Saturday I already have everything set. Wow. And uh, since they they see that I was good on, on working with them with with all the paperwork, they gave me another another group. Wow. And then that's why last week I had the two groups, one with 259 and 50, yes, 50, no, 95, and one with 360. Wow. And you. <laughs> but now this this week is is less because now I only have three hundred sixty because I already finished with the other ones. Mm -hmm. And and you. When do we uh, finish this uh, this? Uh... We are going to finish on yeah. November the fourth. November. Remember the 4th. that we we are going to have a a vacation or the day off on Wednesday and mm -hmm. we are going to go so we are going to have Monday, Tuesday and then Thursday, Friday and we finish. Okay. November the 4th. The 4th. Yes. But yeah. by by the end of October you have to have already your or all the paperwork that you have to fill okay. for the next course. Okay. Yes. Okay. One thing, one thing that I was thinking that because this this team group is a is not bigger, it's not too much student I was thinking that we need to to know each other was perfect you were thinking of I I thought I thought that it would be nice to that all of us uh, gather we uh, all of us uh, talk about what what we do. What, what, okay, to not be yes, yes, that could be nice. That mm -hmm. could be nice. We will mm -hmm. have time for that um the last uh, the last week because oh. remember that the last week we only had to cover um section five and it's not long. Mm -hmm. And then we always have a day a day off. We may do that uh, on on the fourth, the November the fourth. We last... may do that okay. to 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 know each other better uh -huh, because that's... that could be nice. Mm -hmm. And you you keep the contact. You may keep the uh -huh. contacts because. You never know. Yes, that's it. Yes, it's... Because if I go to El Salvador, I would like to invite all of you to eat pupusas that I made. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But uh, the, there are some people that is from different departments. Let me know. Or all of you are from San Salvador. No, you're, I, I am from Cojutepeque. Ah, Cojutepeque. Ha, have you known the people that used to own the Vivero La Flor at the beginning of Cojutepeque? The Echegoyen, Roberto Echegoyen? No. No? But really. you have seen the Vivero La Flor. It was long ago. Uh, no. Um, now there is a, 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 the, a governmental uh, thing there. It is. It was close to the gas station that is at the beginning of the Cojutepeque. 
Mm. Actually, there's are so much uh, vivers, and and for every every place of Cojutepeque. Uh, have you known Rubén Echeboyen? No. Not really. No. Well, anybody that that you you may ask for him, and the there is his son is Roberto Echegoyen. No. Not okay, really. Anna. Anna is on the road. Okay, one from Cojutepeque. The other one. I am uh, okay. I am from La Unión, but I am living in San Salvador. Ah, and you are from La Unión. Yes. I am from San Miguel, sir. And nice, nice. I I have as in my contact list um the the mayor from San Miguel. He's nice. He gave me the number of the the former uh, minister of agriculture because I had a project from them a, a fishery project, but then he was substituted. I don't know what he did wrong, but something wrong happened there. <laughs> because my project didn't pass just because he was the one that presented it. And it was a nice project. It was made by a Canadian and British uh, scientists. Really nice. Yes, it, it, he is a, a very good, uh, he is very good uh, scientist. And he was telling us Ah, es que anda bien loquita. I, El problema, si vos... I wanted to, I wanted, um, I wanted a fishery project, but a, a complete, something that takes all the things in a, in, into account from the fishing to the table. Okay, all the chain. All the, all the. And, 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 and how we have to protect also certain areas in order to keep the water good for the fish. Because if you don't have good water, you cannot have good fish. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. So it was a very nice project. I still have it. Yes, I, I, I have experience in that, in that uh, subject. Oh really? Yes, I have. I I, have. I, I, I will give you the, the 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 project so you can see it. But it it needs to be explained because it's just a PPT, and, but a real PPT that he just put the points, and he has to explain it. Okay. okay. But okay. Uh, in general, you you can get the idea. Okay. Well. Anyone who's never made a mistake has never tried anything new. Cualquiera que nunca se ha equivocado, nunca ha tratado algo nuevo. Okay. I love Albert Einstein. <laughs> okay, what do you think about this? Yes, it's a, it's a, it's a fact, it's a yes, fact. It's a fact, it's a, it's a, if you never try, if you don't, uh, you don't make, make mistakes, you never learn, you never. Yes, uh, and you learn from the mistakes. If somebody raises their hand. Isaac, what do you well, have to well, 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 sorry. Ah, y emocionada que al fin iba a hablar alguien más. Okay. Now, uh, somebody to read the objective, please. Me. Okay. 
In this class, you will learn how to develop skills in a listening for details. Develop not taking skills. Listen to new stories. Okay. Well, we are going to listen to news. Okay. And you are going to take notes. Do you have paper there? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now. It, you will listen for details, but you have to tell me where it takes place, when did it happen, and what actually happened from the news that you are going to listen. Okay, you are going to listen some news, and about them, you have to, to take care of knowing where it takes place, when did it happen, and what actually happened. Okay. Okay, where it takes place? I can hear the yeah, audio. No escuché nada. No escucharon. Sorry, ah, permítame, permítame, permítame. Tal vez yo me equivoqué en algo. Sí, tenían razón. Discúlpenme. Otra vez. Es que se me chispotea a mí de vez en cuando. Right. Listen again. What actually happened? So let's listen to the audio program at this time. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Okay. Where did it take place? In Thailand. In Thailand. In Thailand, uh-huh. And when did it happen? It says on Sunday. <laughs> Any Sunday. <laughs> and what actually happened? What? A snake is trying to kill him. <laughs> yes, but they found the snake on a road. And the man was very clever and put the snake around his neck. Like um necklace yes yes like a necklace or whatever and mm -hmm. then the snake started to do what they do okay <laughs> but the men get rid of it mm -hmm. okay now listen to the other one Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore 
and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Okay, what happened there? Where did it take place? Australia. Uh huh. Australia. And when did it happen? Let's listen again. Down on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep. Live and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The on Friday. Friday. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore, and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Early Tuesday morning in California, two... Okay, um, what actually happened in the previous one? Okay, I'm going to try to. Uh, he visit. Uh, he visit a friend that had a ship, a uh, barco, and uh -huh. go to the cabin, to the cabin of the of the ship, and he slept. Uh -huh. But when he wake up, but when he woke woke up or wake up, he he woke up in Singapore or Singapore. No, the the ship was heading to Singapore. Mm -hmm. There were two girls. There uh, were two girls and they were visiting a friend and get to sleep. But the, the strange thing is that if they were visiting a friend and they were in a cabin, they already know they that they were there. So how is that that they sail or whatever or uh, when really. went with them on board. If mm -hmm. they are going somewhere else, they are supposed to have their documents. You cannot travel in a, on a ship if you don't have documents. Because when you get to the other place, you have to show the documents. Yes. So but it, it, for me, it's very, very strange. How is that they were in the cabin and that the ship goes with them inside if they don't have their papers. And why they jump off the ship and swim? I guess when that they, they, they realize. I guess that they sneak into the ship and do whatever they do there, get to sleep, and they didn't know that they, they were leaving. Okay, when they notice it, they jump because it could be like um a polisson. Yes, that you you are not supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Days to get to the nearest town. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Okay, th th this one is, is, is funnier. What happened there? Where, no, where, where it takes place? California. Okay, and when did it happen? No se fijaron. Otra vez. Would you like to put again? To walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Listen. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief. Early Tuesday morning. Early okay. Tuesday morning, yes. When they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. 
Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Okay, what actually happened? Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll develop skills. What actually happened? When they suddenly lost Two. control of the team. They, they, were, they were chasing a thief. Okay, a thief. They were chasing a thief. When and they, they this and the police officers lose mm -hmm. control from their vehicle, okay, and go down to the river. Yes. So, and then the thieves come back and rescue the police officers from drowning in, in the river. Yes. And then the police department withdraw all the charges against the thief because he saved the police officers. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> it was, it it a, was nice. a good a good thief. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Do you like the news? Do you understand them? Yes, teacher. Entender? Oh, Excelente. Oh, Lo bueno es que vayan tomando notas, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Y poniendo atención. Se me pierde el cursor. Eso. Girls okay. in listening. Now, working the platform individually. Vamos a ver. Entonces, aquí estaba the new broadcast. And now, where did the first story happen? Australia. Thailand. 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 No, in Thailand. In Thailand. Thailand. Yes. What happened on the first story? A man was A almost trying to eat by a snake. Excellent. Okay. Where did the second story happen? In Australia. And what happened in the second story? And two teenagers were disappearing. Where disappear for found. Where did the third story happen? In, In Hollywood, Hollywood, California. California. And what happened in the story? The police officer the police of police was by the chase. Excellent. What does she mean? Chasing. Yeah. What does Chasing mean? Persiguiendo. Mm -hmm. Chasing. Persiguiendo. Así como the cat chasing the mouse. The cat chasing the mouse. Ok. ¿Todos lo tienen? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok. Permítanme que hay algo que se me ha olvidado que tengo que hacer. Este, ¿Ustedes tienen WhatsApp web? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok. Entonces, ahí se los voy a mandar. A ver. No, esto no, no se emocionen, esta no es. Está arribita de esto. Es de los que les envío a mis alumnos. Es este. Vaya. Ese va a ser un ejercicio que vamos a hacer, pero más tarde. O sea, al final. 
¿ok? Pero no vimos nada. ¿En el WhatsApp lo tienen? ¿En el WhatsApp? ¿No les ha llegado el WhatsApp? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Yes, I have the link. Ok, pero lo, es para más tarde. No, ahorita no se preocupen. Cuando terminemos este, lo vamos a hacer. Then, someone to read the lesson objective, please. Me? Okay, okay. By, the the end of this lesson, uh, okay. <laughs> By the end of this lesson, we'll you will learn to use the past perfect dance. Okay, thank you. Estoy compartiendo. No, teacher. No, no, no. Sí, por eso es que me engancho este volado, que algunas veces yo creo que está compartiendo y no. Hoy sí. Yes. Yes. Okay. We use this past perfect for an event that occurred or happened before another event or time period in the past. O sea, event or time period. Ok, in the past. Uh, past event. I was working out. Este es, uh, was working is past continuous. O sea que es un time period. Okay. And I had put my stuff in my locker. O sea, había puesto mis cosas en mi locker. When I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. They were able to, sell, to steal it because I had forgotten to lock my locker. No deberían de haberlo robado, pero él vio, o sea, como decían en mi, en mi abuelita, ¿verdad? En arca abierta el justo pecho. ¿Verdad? Pero no debería de ser así. Creo que todos deberían de respetar lo de cualquier gente. Yo me acuerdo cuando en El Salvador no habían, eh, no teníamos muros en cada casa y algunas veces la gente salía, iba a algún lugar y, y llegaba y no, no cerraban ni siquiera las puertas. ¿Hoy qué? Sí, ni ha terminado uno de salir de la casa y ya están queriendo entrar a, a robarle, ¿verdad? Bueno, por lo menos antes. Ahora me imagino que está mejor. A mi mamá, a mi mamá le pusieron la pistola este, comprando las tortillas. Le robaron al tortillero y le robaron a ella. Sí. Vaya que no entraron. <risa> Desde entonces mejor aprendió a hacer las tortillas ella. Yo le enseñé. Mire madre, compremos más seca y yo le enseño a hacer las tortillas. Tío cuar. Todo por hacer el daño, ¿verdad? Y, y yo no sé qué es lo que ganan, porque sinceramente le estaban robando a la gente que está casi... Que igual que ellos, pues, o sea. Así es, casi no se ganan las tortillas y todo eso. No, pues sí, o sea. Yo, yo no sé qué, qué es la gana de... ¿Por qué a los millonarios no les roban? Bueno, porque son los jefes. ¿verdad? Por si ustedes no lo sabían. Los millonarios son los verdaderos cabecillas de toda esta gente. Y lo sé de buena fuente. ¿Verdad? Bueno, well, por eso es que eh, el, toda la gente, las que, los que más reclaman de lo de, de lo de, del régimen de excepción, son los que estaban bien involucrados con las manos. Ok. Past perfect and simple past. We have the past perfect tense. We use had in the past participle of the verb. 
okay? Remember that you already have uh, the list. And if you notice in the irregular ones, uh, the past participle is sometimes is very different. For example, write, wrote, written. Written is the past participle. Okay. Uh, still, so, stolen. Stolen is the past participle. Okay. Map for the irregular ones, they end just ed. Okay. These ones are regular. John, repeat after me. John had started. John, John had, had started. 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 The music before I arrived. The music, the music before, before I arrived. arrived. Okay, if you notice, before I arrived, arrived is in, I arrived is in past tense. Something that happened in the past that had started is previous to uh, his arrival or her arrival, whatever, okay? John had started the music before I arrived. Then uh, where it says then another activity is before I arrived and they had started is the first completed activity. John had started the music before I arrived. And the other one, they had considered that opinion or that option before signing the contract. Uh, in this case, they put signing the contract, but I guess that it should be signed with ED, the contract, before signed the contract, because it's, it has to be in the past, okay? Mm -hmm. They had considered is the first completed activity, that option before signed the contract, okay? Now, facts. I went to a party last weekend. Sorry, last weekend. Oops. Cuando quiero arreglar algo, siempre me sucede eso. Okay, last weekend. <coughs> And my friends ate all the food. And my friends ate all the food. ¿De qué pasó primero? ¿Qué creen bueno, que pasó primero? Fue la fiesta el fin pasado. Sus amigos habían comido la comida. A ver. I went to a party last weekend, but when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. Y aquí debería de haber puesto already. O sea, que ya se habían comido toda, toda, la, toda la comida antes de que él llegara a la, a la fiesta. ¿Verdad? I went to a party last weekend, but when I got there, cuando llegué allí, my friends had eaten all the food. Debería decir aquí already. O sea que ya se habían comido todo. <laughs> well, I didn't have any money because I had forgotten my wallet at home. O sea, I didn't have, yo no tenía nada de dinero because I had forgotten my wallet at home. O sea, lo primero que sucedió es que olvidó eh, la, la, la billetera en la, la, la casa. Y después ¿no? llegó a tal o cual lugar y no tenía dinero. Okay. Uh -huh. Bien, entonces ahora esto que está aquí es el que les, el que les envié a, a sus, al WhatsApp. ¿Verdad? 
Entonces, entremos ahí, por favor. Entren a ese link. No se preocupen. Es que es un link que no es, no es, eh, no es de la plataforma. Pero quería ponerlos a practicar. Es algo así, algo así les va a salir. Yes, teacher. Very well. That's perfect. Bueno, ¿Lo hacen ustedes por su cuenta? ¿Y después lo revisamos? ¿O vamos haciéndolo a la par? Sí, sí, que a mí me parece en español todo traducido. Ah, es que tal vez usted así tiene su, su browser de, de traducir las cosas del inglés a español. Uh -huh. eh, póngale que lo ponga en original. Ok. Ya, ya lo cambié. Ok. Si quiere lo vamos haciendo nosotros así y uno va corrigiendo. ¿Lo vamos haciendo juntos? Sí. Yes, ok. Yes, teacher. Entonces, after read to spend, mm -hmm. o sea que está que, diciendo eh, pasar his holidays in Italy he to learn Italian. Ok. Entonces aquí, ¿cómo sería? After Fred. Spent. Went, to spend. Uh, spent. After Fred. Spent. Had to spend. His holiday in Italy. He had to. He wanted to learn Italian. He wanted to learn English. Wanted. Ok. ¿Y, ¿Y lo leen bien aquí o se los pongo un poquito más? Eh, más. Grande. Mm. Así está bien. Así está bien. Ok. Jill, Jill. To phone that at work before she to leave for her trip. Jill had phoned phone. that phoned. at work before she left. left. Left, left for her trip. For her trip, okay. Now, Susan. Had turned it on. Had turned it on the radio. After she washed the dishes. Aquí sería had. No, after she had. Yeah, how to wash it? The dishes. Okay. When she when she arrived. Arrived. <clears throat> arrived. The match had already started. Started. O had started. Ok. After the man. Came. Came. Had come. Home. He. He fed, fed the cat. Okay? Because what happened first? He had come. And what happened next? He fed the cat. Okay? Before he sang a song, he had played, played the guitar. Ok. Bueno, uno de los silenciosos que me dicte el séptimo. She had washed. 
Um, he had watched a video uh, as the children when creen que es así no sería al revés porque primero se fueron primero se fueron a la cama Vea. she watched a video after the children had gone to bed de primero se fueron los niños a la cama y después vio ella el video. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Now, after Eric. How after have made. made. Have made. Mavi, made. Breakfast. Breakfast. He phoned. He found it, found it. He found it, his friend. Okay. Vamos a ver. Bribred, Alejandra. Tell me number nine, please. Um. The past tense of verb to be? I don't remember, teacher. I was, I have been. I was, I was, I was very tired because I had studied. I had studied. Excellent. Too much. Y si este hubiera tenido que ser el pasado participio, ¿cuál hubiera sido? Bean. 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 Excellent. Ya ve que ya se acordó. Ok. Now, someone else with the last one. A teacher. A teacher with the nine. Had to study or had studied? Had, had studied. Had studied. Ok. Es que si, te, si se fija, todos dicen to. Uh -huh. To play, to go, to phone, to study. Porque supuestamente son los verbos en infinitivo. Sí. Ok. Now, number 10. Ok. Marco Tulio. Hello, teacher. Number 10. Number 10. Um, they have to write their bags. So they, ha their they, ba have, they had ridden. So they had ridden their bikes before they had met. No, before they met. Before they met. Their, their friends. Friend. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Y Raiden, revisen si es así o es con doble D. Double With double D, D teacher. Thank you. They have ridden their bikes before they met their friends. Okay. Now let's see. Hey, you are good. 10 out of 10 correctly, 100%. Yes. Eh, los que no lo habían hecho, háganlo. Acuérdense que este no es de la plataforma, pero los ejercicios nunca están de más. Hoy vamos a hacer otro ejercicio. Aquí la mayoría están en afirmativo. J. 
¿Cómo sería el negativo? O sea, si la primera oración la pasáramos al negativo. Sir Fred hadn't spent his holiday. his holiday in Italy. He didn't want to learn Didn't Italian. want, didn't didn't want <laughs> to learn Italian. Excellent. Bueno, acuérdense que cuando se ocupa, eh, en el caso de los pasados simples, cuando se ocupa didn't or did, el, sí. el verbo queda en su forma simple, o sea, en su base form. Sí. Pero en el caso sí, pasa, pasa. Del, de los, del, pre, del pasado perfecto, pasa, pasa eh, siempre... Pasa. Tanto en afirmativo, negativo e interrogativo, se mantiene, como ya tiene el auxiliar de por sí, el, el verbo siempre va a estar en pasado participio. Con la única diferencia de que, por ejemplo, para el negativo va a decir hadn't or had not. Y para hacer pregunta iría primero had, después sujeto, después el verbo en pasado participio y el complemento. ¿Verdad? O sea que en, en, en los casos perfectos, el, el auxiliar está desde el afirmativo, porque en, las, en los simples, el auxiliar se ocupa solo para negativo y para interrogativo. ¿Verdad? Pero en el caso de los perfectos, el auxiliar va desde el afirmativo, desde las oraciones afirmativas. Ok. Quiero ver cómo estamos. Diez minutos. ¿Podemos hacer el ejercicio de, de lectura que teníamos pendiente de ayer? Ok. ¿Se acuerdan okay. que nos quedó uno pendiente ahí? Yes. Permítanme. Solo voy a dejar de compartir un ratito para tener acceso a mi Ajá. no me puedo abrir aquí en la de las islas okay. y... bien compartir Presentación con diapositivas. Ok. The threat to the threat to Kiribati. Look at the picture. What do you think the threat to Kiribati might be? Now, the people of Kiribati pronounce Kiruba are afraid that one day in the near future, their country will disappear, literally. Okay. Como ustedes dicen que quieren que yo sea la que escoja. Zulma. Okay. Several times in the past few years, the Pacific Islands Nation has been flooded by sudden high tides. Okay. Do you know what sudden high tides mean? O sea, algo que llega de repente. O sea, uh, son, son olas, olas o sea, algo inesperado. ¿Verdad? Que de repente se elevan uh, las, las, la marea y, y, y no hay ni un motivo porque ni está lloviendo ni ni hay terremoto ni nada. 
the sudden, de repente. Okay. Now. Eh, Ives Mendes, Nady. Okay, teacher. Uh, this time, which is spread across the island and the street house, can when there was neither wind nor rain. Okay, thank you. De lo que le estaba diciendo, ¿verdad? Eh, esas eh, barren, o sea, barren las islas. O sea, que entran por todos lados, ¿verdad? Y no hay ni vientos ni lluvia. O sea, que no hay motivo para que, que justifique que estén sucediendo. Now, Marco Tulio. Okay. Um, well, this time, where we stop? Oh, the, the older, older, yeah. Yeah, the older citizens of Kiribati, Kiribati say this has never happened before. Okay, thank you. Maritza Rivera. Yes, teacher. Kiribati consists of 50 Islam scattered across 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. No, 1,000. 1,000. O sea, TH. Three thousand, three thousand, eight, eight hundred, eight hundred, six 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 hundred, Miles. Miles, miles of the Pacific Ocean, Ocean near the equator. Equator, equator. Equated. Okay. Now, Rafael Antonio. They are part particularly threatened by high tides because none of the islands of Kiribati rise, rises more than two meters, 6.5 feet above sea level. Okay. Now, uh, Rodrigo Antonio. Elio Fuentes. What is causing this mysterious tide? The answer may be global warming. When fuels like oil and coal are burned, they release pollution that trap heat in the earth, in the earth atmosphere. Right? Yeah. Rising. I know. Ya, ya, ya. No se emocione, no se emocione. <laughs> <laughs> Rodrigo Daniel. Diego Anthony. José Antonio. Esto me están, me están aplicando la que yo le hice a mi jefe un día de esto. Rising. Tenía que ir a traer a mi mamá a, a, a la clínica y estaban en una reunión, pero ya para mí era segunda vez que participaba de la reunión. Y entonces este, se hace la misma reunión dos veces. Y entonces yo estaba en medio de la reunión y en eso me habla mi mamá que si la podía ir a traer a la clínica. Yo digo, permíteme mamá, ya voy para allá. Solo participé, le dije un par de cosas que tenía que decir ahí que me habían quedado pendientes. Y cancelé mi, mi, mi video y me puse en mute y me fui a traer a mi mamá. Cuando regresé todavía estaban en la reunión y sigo hablando. Pero yo participo. Nada, José Antonio. 
<laughs> Rising temperatures create more water by melting glacier, glaciers and polar ice caps. Okay, thank you. Uh, Rodrigo Daniel. Ingrid Gisela. Teacher. Scientists say that if the trend continues, many countries will suffer. Bangladesh, for example, might lose one fifth of its island, uh, its land. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Rodrigo Daniel. Erasmo Perla. Yes, teacher. Okay, oh, we were, oh, we were the coral island nations of the passive like Kiribati um, and the Marshall Island, World Island. Fraser Island. 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 Eh, Island. Eh, 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 eso, eh, son de las, son de las, de las letras que se pierden a la hora de estar eh, okay. pronunciando en inglés. No se dice la S en, en Island. Dice Island. Island. Uh -huh. face and even worse face. They will be swallowing by. Swallowed. 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 Es el, el pasado de, de tragar. O sea, tragado. Swallow, swallow, swallowed. Swallowed. By the sea. By the sea. Okay. okay, thank you. Now, Ciro Mira. Yes, teacher. Okay, continue, please. This would be? This would be everyone's lost coral formation are home to more species than any other place on Earth. Thank you very much. Now, Brives, Alejandra. The people of this nation feel frustrated. The ocean on which. <laughs> now, Mayra Portillo. Um, sí, teacher. Uh, the, the ocean on which their economies have always been based is solely, solely threatening their existence. Existence, okay. Now, Cesar Adonai. Okay. There are no easy answer. This is the point, right? Sí. <laughs> Ustedes sí que tienen suerte. Sandra Patricia. My Uh, this nation don't have a lot of money, so they can't afford expensive solutions like CO wars. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Isaac Munguia. Okay. And they have no control over pollution, which are be being released. Mainly by a large industrialist country. Okay, thank you. Eh, Marco Tulio ya pasó, ya pasaron todos. Erasmo Perla. Eh, ya pasé, teacher. <laughs> okay. Well, volunteers. Me okay. again, please. Okay. All day. All they can do is to hope that these countries will take a step to reduce pollution and therefore global warming. Okay, thank you very much. Ay. Yo creo que lo que necesitamos es sembrar más árboles. Y en las líneas costeras, más que todo de, de los lugares tropicales, eh, intentar, por ejemplo, estas Islas Salomón, yo creo que están ya demasiado al sur. 
Ah, no, porque quedan por el Ecuador. Todavía podrían. Este, sembrar alrededor de, de, sus, de sus islas este, árboles de, de mangle. Los manglares, como tiran raíces eh, que son así bien... Eh, y lo, lo mejor es que los manglares pueden estar tanto en, en agua dulce como en agua salada. Y ayudan también a, a proteger la fauna de, de, de las islas. Entonces sería muy bueno que empezaran a, a, a llevar manglares ahí como para darle más consistencia a las islas alrededor. ¿Verdad? Y los manglares son buenísimos para los pollution, o sea, para, para limpiar tanto el agua como el aire. Well, see you tomorrow. Y han dejado de mandarme los trabajos. Acuérdense que el jueves son ustedes los que van a leer sus historias. ¿Ok? Pueden ser historias bíblicas. Está muy bonita esa de Nabucodonosor. Okay, okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Thank, thank you. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Okay, Bye. see you tomorrow. Good night to everyone. Good night. Good night. Take care.